You know, I love the floss and being a magician, I thought, you know, maybe there's a trick that I could do using dental floss because I like the floss so much. So I'm going to take this pack of dental floss and I'm going to pull off one piece. I've got a little piece hanging out here to the side. I'm going to reach over. I'm going to pull off one piece of floss. So now we've got the pack of floss here. We've got one piece over here. And then I'm going to reach over with my finger and my thumb. and I'm going to pull off small, kind of a medium piece large piece. Basically you get all different kinds of sizes. Some medium, some small, one more. We're going to close the floss and put that aside. So now we have all of these dis different sizes, kind of like a spaghetti mess here of dental floss pieces. I'm going to keep one piece in this hand and I'm going to pull all these pieces over here. So we've got one single piece here and I've got these individual pieces here. We're going to take this piece and we're going to take all of these pieces and squeeze them onto this one piece right here. So we're going to take all these different sizes and we're going to start to squeeze them together. Now it's really difficult to do this, to get these all balled up. When there's plaque on it from your teeth, it makes it a whole lot harder. So make sure you don't floss before you do this trick. So you take all these pieces and you ball them up into a tight little ball. So they're in between your thumb and your finger. You've got this little pack. And then over here, you've got this one piece. So you're going to take these balled up pieces, all different sizes, and you're going to squeeze them onto that one piece. So to recap here, you have one piece with all of the individual pieces squeezed together and squeezed onto this one piece. Now, the reason it's able to stick on there is because this is waxed dental floss and it's able to stick on there. So what I'd like you to do is I'm going to have you help me do this trick. Actually, you're going to help with the magic. I'm going to have the spectator reach up and grab some magical wiffle dust from their shoulders, from their hair. Some people call it dandruff. No, we're just kidding. It's just a line. But you have them reach up and grab some magical wiffle dust, and we're going to have them squeeze that onto this one piece right here. And they're just going to dust it with magical wiffle dust. Now, the magical wiffle dust is just make-believe. Uh, they're just pretending, but they take those magical wiffle dust and they sprinkle it onto there because you tell them that their magical wiffle dust that they have in their head or their shoulders that they sprinkle on here is going to cause something magical to happen with that packet that we squeezed on there. So just to recap, we had one piece. We had those pieces, all different sizes we balled up here. We squeezed them together and squeezed them onto this one piece. And then we had magical wiffle dust sprinkled by the spectator. And now we're going to take both ends of the floss. We're going to blow off the extra dust. And what's neat is, is you do magic with their magical wiffle dust that you cause all those pieces to fuse well back together. And now you can see you have one long piece all tight and restored together just like that. And all those pieces join together. So now you have one long piece of floss. And that's pretty amazing. So we're going to take this piece. We're going to get rid of it because we don't need that. We're actually going to show you how to set this trick up. Now this trick takes a little bit of misdirection, but when you get it down, it's super strong. So like I said, you want to make sure that you have waxed floss. Don't get the flavored kind because the flavored wax doesn't stick together good. So you open up the floss and you pull off a piece about the length in between your shoulder blades. If you're a football player, it's huge, so don't keep it that big. But there's your piece of floss, and then you close the lid. What it does is it locks that right there. You take a pen, and you hold it on the end of the floss box, so it just hangs off just a little bit like that. And then you take the floss, and you tightly wind it up on the end of the pen into a little packet. And you let a little bit hang down just like that. Now you reach over with your fingers and you slide that packet off the end of the pen. We don't need the pen anymore. So now you see you have a little rest restoration packet. Now you want to squeeze it sideways like that in between your fingers. So now you have this little restored packet. You open up the floss, you swing it back over and you connect it right here. So this is your starting point. You say, hey, do you mind if I floss? 
or say, hey, you know what? You got a little something in your teeth. Would you like to borrow my dental floss? You're like, oh, I'm just kidding. But hey, you know, there's a trick. I like the floss myself, but I found a magic trick I can do with this floss, but I'm going to need your help. The reason you say you're going to need their help is because you're going to get their magic wiffle dust. That's when you tell them to reach up and grab the middle hair on their head, pull the dust off or pull it off their shoulders. You do the joke about dandruff, ha ha, little joke. But they help with their magic wiffle dust, causing it to fuse weld back together. So the way you start this off is your finger here does the covering. You pop this open and it doesn't open up all the way. So they see that, hello, you just pop it open and then your finger pushes the lid open. You see what's happening as I push the lid open? It covers that. Now your thumb comes in just like you're grabbing a piece of floss and you grab that. So now you have that packet, you pull it off and now they can't see that that's there because it just looks like you're holding a piece in your fingers. And there it is. So now you reach over and this part right here, you pull on the floss and you pull another piece and another piece. And this is where you get all the different sizes. And then you close and put that away. Now, when you reach over here and you get your finger underneath here and you tug on these, you can feel which piece is over here. When you tug on these and you let the pressure off your thumb a little bit, not enough so that whole packet pops out, you can feel which one's connected to that packet. Because I'm going to lift my thumb off because you can see this. You want to pull all those pieces off, but you want to leave that there. So the way that it looks is it looks like you're just reaching under and you're pulling those pieces over. They don't know that you're leaving that there your little restoration packet. Now you've got all these pieces. Now you ball this up. It takes a little practice to get that balled up, but you want to get it small enough to where they can't see a whole lot around the edges. So just like that. Now you can see from all angles, the pieces are in there. It looks like they're balled up there. So now you take these pieces and this, and this is going to go into that hand and it's going to go in. let you say, you're going to take these pieces and you're going to squeeze them onto that one piece. Now what you've done is this. You've joined them together in one hand. You've got the pieces in the restoration packet. Now here's the misdirection. You say, I'm going to have you do the magic wiffle dust. Why do you have to do the magic wiffle dust? Because everyone's looking at the person grabbing the dust from their hair. That's the misdirection and everyone's concentrating on the joke that you're doing with the person grabbing the magical wiffle dust, aha, dander from their hair. And you say, what I'd like you to do is have you put some of that on here and you reach underneath here. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull this away. You're pulling that away, obviously not showing them like that. And you're keeping this here. And here's the misdirection. Turn to someone to your left. Now what I did is I just dropped it on the floor next to me. You pull this away, you turn, this hand drops to the side of your body and you bring this up so that everyone can see it. So everyone's focused on this and they forget the fact that you pulled your hand away and dropped it to the side. And they're focused on this. When, the hand, when your hand drops to the side, drop that packet of floss on the floor or put it in your pocket. And then eventually you bring your hand back out and you're talking about the magic wiffle dust. Now the trick is done. You can milk it all you want. They think that these are the pieces you squeezed on there. You've ditched the other packet. And now you do a little more fun. You could have someone point their finger at it, say their favorite magic word. You can add more patter and milk it all you want. Grab a magical salt shaker and sprinkle salt on it or whatever. You can do whatever you want to make it fun. And then you grab the ends, you pull apart, and it's restored, and they're gonna be absolutely blown away. So that is the dental floss trick. I've been doing it for 35 years, and it blows people away. Have fun with it, and you get the floss with this after you're done. Little bonus.